answering a research question is not as easy as it sounds. It seems like that should be the simplest part of your research, and honestly, it's not. Getting the question to be a real inquiry is something that people struggle with. So I'm going to try to help you create your question. Um, by now, you should have your topic pretty set. You should know what you're looking at. Let's say you are going to focus on math journals. This is what you're going to look at throughout the year. And so you're trying to figure out, okay, what's my question going to be? And the first attempt at your question, you write, will my students become better communicators if I introduce math journals? Seems like a good enough question. The problem with it is that it's a yes-no question. And you really want to stay away from yes-no questions when you're doing teacher research because it, yeah or no. There's nothing really to research. So you want it to be a true inquiry. So the second attempt at your question, you write, how will introducing math journals to my students enhance the level of communication in my classroom? And the problem with this question is that you really don't know what's going to happen. And so if you put in there um, that it's going to enhance the level of communication, you already know what you're looking for. And in a true teacher research, again, you don't know what's going to happen. You want it to be a true inquiry. So you want to keep out anything that you really think you're looking for in there. If you're going to look for communication, then you're going to have to change your question, change your inquiry. You want this to be as open-ended as possible. Okay. The third attempt. How will introducing math journals to my students affect the level of their understanding of math in my classroom so that they are better able to communicate thinking strategies with their peers in large and small groups? Okay, this is a real common problem with people starting this work. That question is way too wordy. It's way too long. Unlike the last question that was leading, right, it was leading us to look at enhancement of communication. This one is just so long and so wordy. Cut it down. Keep it concise, to the point. That's all we want to know. The fourth attempt, okay, and this is the final attempt to your question, is what happens when I introduce math journals to my students? That's it. It's very open-ended. It's straight to the point. You don't have any idea what's going to happen. It's a true inquiry. And that's what a teacher research question should be about.